everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm letty this is letty sparkle hello i'm a crazy makeup person from england i live in bournemouth and i love all things makeup so if you love makeup too consider subscribing to my channel the notification bell so you don't, so you don't miss what i'm posting we're going to be playing with some makeup from Seventeen. Um, for those of you who are probably my sort of age, like 30s, will remember that Boots just have a brand called Seventeen and they discontinued it or they just got rid of it, I'm not really sure, years ago and it's come back. So I bought some bits. I only got a few bits that they didn't have a lot in my local Boots to be honest and I've not really had to look online but I got a few bits to like kind of do like few things so I got a highlighter a bronzer which is going to be far far too light for me so this is going to go straight to Elsie um, and a blush they had two different blush colors they had this one which is like a peachy sort of pink um, and they had a real berry pink kind of um this is the highlighter it's very gold it's very cute and then I also got an eyebrow um, tinted gel and then I got an eyeliner, black eyeliner, just a normal eye pencil. Um, and then I got an uh, eyeliner pen, I can't even talk, an eyeliner pen. They did have an eyebrow pencil as well and a clear brow gel. But as I bought this one, I thought it was kind of a one step kind of situation. Um, and I also bought a lipstick. So this is the colour they had. They had four different colours. Oh, I didn't even check to see if this was okay. This one's clearly been opened. I'm such an idiot. So this one, I just kind of wanted a brownie nude kind of colour. So I thought I would just play with them and see what they're about. Um, thought how exciting, they're really, really affordable. All this stuff was under three, four pound. Um, some of it was two pound fifty, actually I've got the receipt here. And so most of it was, the most expensive thing was four pound fifty and that was the brow gel. The rest of it was three fifty, three fifty and three fifty. And actually if you used and the, this was three pound. The eye pencil was two pounds, so yeah, really, really affordable. Really good for like a beginner brand if you're, you know, if you've got a teenage daughter or something that's starting. It's probably quite a good brand to start with. So I'm just going to pop it on and see what we think. Actually, I've got some new brushes to try out, which I'm going to try out these. I got these for Christmas, and I've been saving them and saving them for a video, and I just got them out to do a video with this palette. Not realising that they're all face brushes pretty much, apart from those two. So I thought, oh, I'll use them in this video. So there's kind of like a fluffy brush. A little bit stuck. A smaller brush. So this would probably be a good brush for like contour. This would be a good brush for black blush. And then this one probably for highlight. Although I would like a smaller brush. But yeah, they're pretty cool. I like the packaging of them. They're really cute. This is the bronzer. The bronzer is called O2O. They only had one shade of bronzer in my boots, so they may obviously do more. So I'm going to go ahead with this brush here. It's a bit more dense. I'm just going to go straight into it. It's quite a cool tone, so it might be quite a good shade for contour. Hmm. Okay. You can definitely see it, but it is quite a cool toned um, bronzer. So it is quite a good shade on me to contour with. Yeah, I do like that, it kind of... Yeah, I like that, I think that looks quite good. Hmm. Actually, I wasn't expecting to like this. Because it just looks really, really light. But actually, because it's quite a cool toned, it looks works really, really well as a contour shade. Yeah, I like that. I do contour a little bit down here, just because I've got... A little double chin. Okay, that's one product done. Quite like that. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush for like blush. This is blush is called 020 Pink and um, Desert Pink. And there was another shade, like I said. I just thought it'd be a nice little video to try with because it's quite, you know, new products. Again, I like that. That's pretty. How are we all? I just want to say sorry for my like last video. I was a little bit just feeling a bit low. But I'm good now. I feel a bit better. Um, yeah. That's 
quite nice. It's very subtle, nice colour. I like that, especially like for spring. That's a really nice colour for spring. So, so far, so good. And then the highlight, let's test that one out. Let's give it a little swatch. Mm, that's the swatch. Mm. We're going to go with this brush. I think it's a bit big, but we'll try it and just see. Okay, it's probably a little bit dark. But yeah, I like that. That looks good, I think. And then we're going to go in with... Um, well, the eye stuff I'm going to do, obviously, after I do my eyes. So let me just um, put the lipstick on. I'm just going to give it a little clean, just because it has a little bit on here that's... Um, it's going to go for the... I'm not lining or anything. It's a nice colour. It's a bit nudey. I think they've been I think it will look really nice with um like a browner lip liner underneath. But it's not all bad. So I'm gonna go into my eyes and then we'll come back to finish off with this and the brow gel part of the video and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to go in with some eyeliner now. So I'm going to use the Flick eyeliner first. So I quite like the tip of it. It's really pointy, as you can see on there. Very pointy. Let's just see how black it is. So bearing in mind that this was, I think, £3. Let's see how good it is for £3. Yeah, £3. Okay, it's very matte. It's quite a stiff pen to use. The point's not really gone to plan, but I'm gonna try and fix that with a bit of cotton wool. Just gonna start off with this one directly on here. I always find this bit easier to do on this side. It's a very, very dry formula, so it's quite hard to work with. I'm just gonna give that a minute, and I'm just gonna go in a bit and tidy. So that point's quite pointy, but this one isn't. So I'm just gonna fix that in a minute. Um, while that's fixing, that was setting, I'm just gonna use the... Oh, this is very creamy. It's very creamy very easy it just glides on i don't because it's so creamy i don't think it'll last very long i'm gonna try and fix this side of the eyeliner so it's a lot thicker than i wanted to it is quite a dry eyeliner to use um so it's quite hard to kind of use so just be aware of that if you are buying this it is quite difficult to use so I'm going to go and do my mascara now um, and then I'll come back for final thoughts and final look. Be right back. So I've just put my mascara and I totally remembered that I forgot to do my eyebrows. So I've got this brow gel. So let's give it a look. I've not got anything else on my brows. Um, I might just quickly actually, should I do a little bit of highlighting with the um, gold that I used? I think so. Just use a little, little fan brush. We'll just highlight a little bit underneath the brow bone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the brow bone. The brow bone, I'll do the brows. So it just says um, tinted brow gel. So I'm going to try to not use anything else. They had, I believe, two shades of these. They had this one, which is called dark brown. Or they had another one, which was um, slightly light, like almost like a grey toned colour, which would probably be good for like blondes. It's kind of gone above my brow, which is a bit annoying. So let me just clear that up. So I think the brow gel will be good once you've done your brows. I don't think it's one the sort of product you can use probably on its own. Um, but I think on top of something already, I think it'd be quite nice. Just because it kind of takes it like above the product. And it kind of makes them look quite light. And I quite like um, a more like a darker brow. But I'm not hating it. It's not terrible. Okay, so I've done a couple of layers. I think it looks okay. The eyebrows look good. They look quite natural. There's not a lot about them. Um, but they look alright. I don't think they look bad. 
don't be so silly think they look amazing but they're just normal so overall with the products um i think the eyeliner is okay um it's very it's very matte it's very black so that's quite a good thing but it is quite a dry pen so being a filled tip pen you expect to be a bit more moist um i hate that word but you expect it to be a bit yeah a bit wetter and a bit of a, of a more liquid formula where it's quite a dry formula um it says, it says our quick dry and intense black liner is water-based and has a subtle but long-lasting silky finish so yeah it's very black i do like that but it does it is hard once you've got the first line it's kind of hard to um to go back for more uh, and go on top of it because where it dries so quickly it is quite hard in my opinion to kind of use i'm just going to try and line right at the bottom of my lash on this eye because i can kind of see that it's not covered okay i think that looks better um the so that's the um eyeliner done and i kind of swatched it i'm just kind of going to try and smudge it it's quite pretty smudge proof um yeah it's pretty smudge move that's quite cool um but yeah so that's okay um the gel is okay i think it's the sort of product you can use on top of stuff i don't think i mean it looks all right now but it's quite messy at the top here i had to clean up a couple of times um although my eyebrows i think look quite nice um probably not a product that's going to change your world and that's the most expensive product in there it's four four pound fifty and um, the whole collection the lipstick's really nice and moisturizing it feels lovely on the lips um, what does it say on it? It says, um, gorgeous pout guaranteed in seconds. The creamy formula is enriched with castor oil for a comfortable velvet matte finish. Um, I wouldn't say it's a matte finish. It's quite shiny, isn't it? But I have got lip balm underneath, so that's maybe why. Um, and this is in shade, uh, blushing nude. So, and I do like the shade. I actually think it looks really, really nice. It's a sort of nude that on me looks a little bit peach, but I, I quite like it. I'm not mad at it. I think it's actually quite a nice nude. So I quite like that. Um, the blush is quite nice. I didn't put a lot of it. You know me, I'm not really a blush person. Um, but it's a nice blush. Uh, really nice. The bronzer. Um, it's called Glow and Define Bronzer. I really like this. This is a perfect shade for contour for me at the moment. Um, it's really lovely. I like the effect it's giving me. It's not looking muddy or anything. Um, and I actually thought of all the products I got, this was going to be the one that wasn't going to work. And it does. So happy days. Yeah, and the blush works. And the brush works. The highlight's pretty as well. It's quite a yellowy tone gold, uh, which I quite like. Uh, I prefer this when I'm tanned. This sort of shade when I'm tanned. Um, but it's nice. It's not, it's not bad. It's not like blown me away. Because it's not like wow bing. It's quite natural. It's quite there. It's not natural. But it's not as beaming as say my Jacqueline Hill highlighter but it is nice for I think it was like three four pound three, yeah for three pound fifty and actually because I've got an advantage card the boost valage card they were all a pound cheaper so good thing um the eyeliner the eyeliner is actually quite nice it's very very creamy it's not gonna last long because it's already like separating in my eyes let me just try and get a close-up of my eyes but can you see where it's already going a little bit funny in my eyes it's not going to last for a very long time um but the formula is really nice and creamy so and it was two pounds so what the hell am i expecting for two pound it works fine um it'll pop yeah so for two pound it's not a bad price for um for an eyeliner and i think that's all the products done isn't it so overall um yeah it's nice it's a nice um nice product very affordable i think it's a great thing way to start um for people to try, to try and out makeup for the first time between to try and use um i think it's a great product for that so i'm pretty pleased with it um because i've got to buy some different that's this all cost me like 19 pounds so 19 pound for one two three four five six seven products it's not bad is it really so but yeah i'm really happy with the products i got i think they work really well for the price point i don't think it's bad at all um they're not going to be the best products obviously because of the price point um but they're not bad either um the eyeliner um it's very i love how black and how matte it is actually um but it, it was quite dry to apply uh, like i said but yeah anyway i'm just blabbering on repeating the same thing over and over again for no reason as usual so i'm just gonna sign off so thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a huge big, some huge big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i shall see you in my next one thank you bye bye Bye.
keep the lead.